time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Good evening and welcome to Larry's Fountain Pens. I'm Larry where I talk about fountain pens. Cool. Inks, paper, notebooks, adult coloring books, crayons, belts, man's packs. Remember that one. And a lot more other neat stuff. Right? And with me today, I have some special guests today. And uh, here is David the Penguin. And then here's my other buddy, Kevin, dropped by to see me. So they're all going to join us with my fellow friend, the Minion. And we're going to do this video. And the video is going to be on cross pin. Yes. And I've had this cross pin for about a month. So it's about time that I review this beautiful pin. At least I think it's beautiful. It comes in this gray sleeve and we'll start focusing on the pen now. And you see cross on top. That's in the case so I'm going to slide it out and remove the case. Right here is a really nice leather case with cross on top and nothing on the sides or on the bottom so we'll open it up and there is a beautiful cross pin and on the inside it's like a white uh, satin type material you have cross on there and uh, it gives the date 1946, I believe. And uh, the pen is laying on the bed. And so I'm going to remove the bed that is laying on. First, I'll take out the pen. Gorgeous pen. And it comes with instructions. And uh, cross pins been making since 1846. So they've been around for many moons, have they not? And uh, I do love their pins. They have a real nice pen. I like them. And then in here is some more goodies. They've sent uh, some uh, blue-black cartridges. So, I'm really liking it so far. Put everything back. And I'll just set this aside for now. And I'll put this gorgeous pin right here on the pin stand to show off the elegance of this cross pin. I'll tell you a little bit about this pen, and then when I get to talking about this pen, I'll do uh, I'll ink it up and do some writing for you. This is the Cross Century Fountain Pen. This is a classic Century 10 karat gold plated fountain pen with a medium gold nib. Remember, gold nib. And let me check something. On top, it says cross. But on the pen now, it has 1 over 20th of gold, the amount of gold fill. So this whole pen is gold filled. And I'm liking that. Made in the USA. So again, all this you're seeing is gold filled. A beautiful, beautiful pen. And the clip 
nice and sturdy. If you want to put it on, it'll go right on your shirt, shirt pocket. Not a problem. On the tip of the pin, there's that uh, wood cross usually has on the finial of the top with a little gold dot inside. And there's nothing much going on, just round on the bottom. And you can, I don't know if you can see it, but all in here are like facets all up and down the pen. Looks really, really nice. Sharp looking pen. And uh, on the pen, it has cross. On here as well so that's what this beautiful cross pin looks like mm -hmm. nice clip cross on the clip and it tells you that uh, it's cross up here and how much gold fill that is on this pin and these pins are guaranteed for life if you have any problems with the pin, that it's not working properly, you can send them back to Cross and uh, they will repair it or replace it for your charge. In fact, I'm going to be sending a ballpoint matte black to Cross this week when I twist it to have the uh, ink cartridge come out it doesn't uh, come out so I've already called Cross and they've already uh, told me send it in there's no charge guaranteed for life sir they had a uh, uh, good customer service as well I'm just really happy with Cross and I've got a few of the Cross pins and later I'll be showing them all together as a group but for now it's about this one right here so let's remove the cap pull off cap Nice little click. Can you hear that little snap? Here we go. Nothing going on in the cap. And here is that nib. And let me get some white paper to help you kind of see this for a minute. There is a nib, medium nib. And let me get my looking glass. It says cross 14 carat five eight five. Then it has a cross emblem with the letter M on it. And then there's the feed, the grip. Ample enough room. Fingers fit uh, just fine there. And does it post? Yes, it does. Securely? Yes, it does. It doesn't look too uh, bit long in the hand. In fact, uh, I like it. Like I've said before, I like to post my pins if I can, but if it's going to damage my pin, I'll, I won't. And there's enough in the grip uh, grip section that my, my fingers are comfortable. And there's a slight little step off right there. You can feel it a little bit, but my fingers aren't going to be up here, and it's, it doesn't hurt anyways. Fingers are going to be right in there. Plenty enough room. So that's fine. So let's open them up and see what's inside. Comes with a converter, and I'm sure glad of that because some of the cross pins I've been getting do not come with converters, and I have to buy the cross converter. And on the converter, it does have cross. And there's two different kinds of converters. So 
I always have to watch out for that. And everything is uh, working uh, fine so far. So, my next step, for the first time, I will ink this baby up. I'm going to use some uh, Sailor Gentle Ink. And I believe you pronounce it Sutton. Real nice blue ink. So, let's get this show on the road. Here we go. And let's fill her up. You want to make sure your nib's all the way down there because the breather hole is right about there. And let's get a fill. Here we go. And uh, it stopped right there. We can get some more ink in there. That's a lot of air, so I'm just going to go ahead and release it and do it again. Start and fill. There you go. And as you see now, I've got a full converter full of ink. Before you saw that space that was there, that was the air. So what I do to get my converter full, I expel the ink back in the bottle and I do it again, slow, not fast, and I pull all that ink back up into the converter and I have a full converter of ink. And I'll set this aside. And there you have it. Let me go ahead and put the barrel back on. Now let me wipe that off a little bit. Okay, so now what do you say? We'll get the old Roll your dot out and do a little bit of writing. All right, let me find some paper and I'll get to writing because this is just about filled up. It's getting there. And uh, go ahead and cap it. First time this. Uh, has ink in it and going to be put to paper so all of us are going to be seeing how this pen writes and I am kind of uh, anxious so here we go on the cross century Plenty of wetness, and it is that. There you go. It does deliver the ink, and we'll do some writing. I can still see it's wet. Doesn't have no problems uh, keeping up with the uh, the feed and nib working together. And I didn't see any skips or bad starts. Nothing yet. We'll do some messes.
psh. That is not a quiet nib, that's for sure, but it's not uh, scratchy. It's riding just fine. Is it the smoothest nib I've ever had? No. But it's, it is a good nib still. Fast riding. Not a problem. And we'll do wetness one more time. It lays down that ink. Nice and wet, nice and juicy wet. So, so it looks like I've got a winner. Do I like the pen? Yes, I do. I, you know, I, I like cross pens. And uh, I've just recently got into the cross pen movement. Uh, and I'm glad I did. Now this pen isn't for everybody. If you don't like uh, the middle finish out here, even though it is a 10 karat go fill, because some people say about the fingerprint and this pen isn't for you. But uh, this is a nice classy looking pen. The kind of pen you can take to meetings, do your notes with, write letters, performs well. It's got a little weight but not overbearing on the weight. It feels really good in the hands. Cross makes a good pen in my opinion. So what do you think about the cross pen? Do you have a cross pen? Leave your comments below and tell me, you know, if you like the uh, cross pen or not. I, I love to hear your comments regardless how they are. So, that's going to conclude the Cross Century Fountain Pen. And this is, like I said, episode 130. And uh, before I go, I'll like to share with everybody, uh, I'm up to uh, 474 subscribers. Thank you much, guys. I appreciate you. It's moving along pretty fast now. Um, and as you all know by now, that uh, if you feel like donating, I have the PayPal and the Patreon below whatever you can afford if you can afford it, anything at all that helps me buy pens or inks or whatever I may need to help me with my videos uh, what else well I think that's going to conclude this If you own a cross pen, I'd love to hear your story about it. Email me and uh, share. So, that's all there is to this episode. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Hit that like button and leave them comments. Let them come. I do read all the comments, and uh, thanks for letting me share with you. Peace, love, be safe, and don't text and drive. Talk to you later.